Hey guys, today we'll be checking out a few new apps. First off, we'll start with Kayak, which is an app that allows you to search for hotels, flights, and cars, and you can even book them through the app. So this is the main interface, it's quite simple, and your preference allows you to set a location, so any one of the supported countries, and you can set a currency as well. So once you do that, you've got the three main interfaces here, which is for hotels, flights, and cars and once you pick anything you get the option so you can select a different city and once you pick the city you can put in your check-in and check-out date number of guests that you want the number of rooms that you want so it gives you a lot of options like that and once you hit search it'll search the database and give you a list of hotels that it finds and the interface is quite nice and you have the option to sort and filter as well so you can sort by lowest price the number of stars and things like that or uh, sort by filter by certain brands that you like so you can just choose the brands that you want and go with that and once you pick any one of those you get some detailed information about the price and you can call them and book them that way so clicking on that will allow you to call them and this will take you to a web page where you can try and book it so you've got more details if you slide across so you've got the description and the pricing the website and things like that and you've got a maps feature which will show you the location on a big map and some of the reviews by other people and websites will come in here as well so overall it's quite nice you've got your pictures as well so there are 89 pictures and you can easily use them and similarly you can do the same thing for booking flights and booking cars as well so for flights you choose your from and to location the date and your preference for non-stop and you can choose your class as well so if you're going to go first class you can choose that or you choose economy as well number of passengers and go with search again the interface will be quite similar to the ones that we saw in hotel and once you have anything you can pick that and call them and the other details as well so overall it's quite a handy app it's got a nice interface except maybe for the transition which flips it's kind of slow for me but overall it's quite nice and i don't think you can log into the kayak account that you have but other than that it's quite functional and quite handy to have next up we're going to take a look at stormcloud which is an app that helps you have a better experience where you go for skiing or snowboarding in the whistler or blackcomb mountain ranges in canada so this is the main interface you've got your settings here which will allow you to share locations and things like that so you can toggle this on and off you've got a bit of information about the developers and privacy information there and you can send your feedback through here and then with your other main location when you jump into the weather you get detailed snow report which was updated way back in jan so i'm guessing it doesn't snow there right now so then you've got your valley forecast so you've got your weather right there so it's from the 4th of november which is today and you've got your detailed weather for the week and the alpine forecast again for today and yep then you've got your lift information so all these are closed right now because i'm guessing they don't operate right now then your uh, warnings for your avalanches in that area and if you manage to get lost when you're down there you can go into trails and it'll show you location and allow you to call sky patrol as well and your run tracker allows you to track your run and the connector description of the app it also allows you to post that information directly to facebook so i haven't used this myself but if you plan to go down for skiing or snowboarding down in uh, whistler or blackcomb mountains in canada this app can be useful to you i'm guessing next up we have an app called seven dialogue so this app 
is a dialer application for Windows Phone. So usually on Windows Phone, when you type in a number, it doesn't auto-complete that for you. So with this particular app, you can do that. So some of the other features of the app is clicking on this will bring up the setting options that you have. So you can sync your contacts, you can sync it periodically, so if the tile images, the contacts image change and things like that, it will automatically pick it up. You can choose a uh, dial tone for your key. So I've uh, set that as lightsaber, but you've got a few other options in there as well. And then you can pin a contact, pin the icon to the start screen, so you can choose any one of the format that you have so it's the uh, normal icon or you can go for your people's tiles so the contacts will be shown as tiles in there and you can you've got a people tab over here once you click on that it'll take you to your people tab initially it'll be an empty uh, grid and you've got to fill it in with your contacts and you can edit that as well so you've got multiple formats for this so you can change the layout so you've got different formats that you can use and you can pin contacts with their contact number uh, sms or even email and once you're happy with one you can pick that and stick with that and then you can easily uh, call them or text them using the buttons so it'll directly go into the text message from that And one of the useful thing with the app is that you can pick a contact, pin them to your uh, people list, or there is an option to schedule a message. So with that, what happens is you can either schedule a call or a text. And once you do that, you'll, you can either create a reminder that will uh, come up with a notification or create a live tile. So you can create a live tile and once you tick on that, it'll come up with that live tile down here. So when you want to call them, you just click on that and that will directly give you the option to call that person. And so that is a quick look at 7 Dialer and there is a free and paid version available. The paid version comes with a price tag of $2.49. And the last app that we'll be taking a look at today will be called Weave, which is a RSS reader app for Windows Phone. So when you load it up, you've got various categories that you can choose from settings. So when you pick anything, so you've got quite a lot like tech, world news, video games, Windows Phone, etc and then within those you can manage the feeds as well so within video games if you don't want say game informer you can disable that and you don't want world insider you can disable that with windows phone you've got a lot of options as well and similarly for all these you get various pre-built feeds and if you don't want any of those you can disable that and if you want to add your own feeds you can do that as well using find new feeds and one of the major issues I have with the app is that it doesn't allow you to sync your Google Reader uh, account, but that is going to come in the next version, I believe, because they have put up a button for that yet. So the thing is they have put up a button for it, which doesn't do anything right now, but if you go into the change log, you can see that that is a planned feature which is coming up in the next version. So with any news feed, when you go into it, you get the various articles in there and you can click on one of those and that will bring up the information from the RSS feed and you have the option to mark it as read, share it on social networks or view the article on the website. When you go into the website you've got the option to mobilize it which means the extra content from the website will be cut out and the app will try to show you just the article itself. Uh, one other good feature that has come up in this version is that if there is a video or a podcast embedded within the post you'll see the small icon which notifies that and when you go into that you'll see that you have the option to play that video or podcast from there. 
So as long as you have the YouTube app from Microsoft installed, it should bring up the video. Um, you should be able to play the video. And of course, this is the House of Stock, and this is. And so yeah, that is a quick look at Weave, which was just recently updated. And thanks for watching.